Hi guys, my name is Peter and welcome to a new video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an EC2 instance using Terraform. So before moving on, let me give you guys a basic idea regarding what is Terraform. So Terraform is actually an open source infrastructure as a code tool that uses a language, a declarative language called as HCL, which stands for HashiCorp configuration language. And we write this language in order to provision resources. So in this video, let us see how we can create an EC2 instance. Uh, so first of all, uh, I'm going to open up uh, VS Code. So in VS Code, I have already opened up a folder called as Terraform-Tutorial. So make sure that you have got Terraform installed uh, on your machine. So to verify, uh, let us open Terminal and I can type in Terraform-V. Uh, so if it returns a version number, uh, you have successfully installed Terraform and it is pretty easy to install Terraform. You can just follow their docs. It is a straightforward process. So let me make it full screen. So once you have got a folder created, so let's create a file called as main.tf. So this is the main file in which we are going to write our code. So how are we going to write the code? So let us uh, take it this way. First, let's specify what cloud provider that we are going to use. So in this video, we are going to entirely rely on uh, the Terraform docs. So there's no need to remember any code. We have got everything in the Terraform docs. So we're going to uh, take a look at there and uh, we're going to use that code directly from the docs. So first of all, I'm going to search in Google that is uh, AWS provider Terraform. So the reason to search in such a way is that I'm going to use AWS. So I want Terraform to connect with my AWS account. So I'm going to I'm going to search for AWS provider Terraform. And uh, let's open up the first link that is from Terraform. So here you can see this is the Terraform provider that is AWS provider doc. And this is the code that we are going to use. So first let's understand what this code means. So here you can see that the required provider so that is a required cloud provider is AWS. And uh, where should Terraform take the data of AWS from? So for that, we have specified the source. So the source is HashiCorp uh, slash AWS. So that is uh, from where Terraform is going to collect all the data for AWS. And the version that we're going to use is anything above 4.0. So that is the meaning of this particular code. So let me copy this code from here and let's paste it right here in our VS code. Now that is done. And the second step is to configure the provider. So we need to say what the provider uh, need to do. That is where should the provider create the resource and what are the credentials that uh, the uh, provider need to uh, use in order to connect with the uh, AWS account. So these are the uh, things that we need to specify in step number two. So here we can see the, uh, the code block for configuring the AWS provider. So let's copy that from here and paste it right over here. So as of now, we have just provided the region in which the uh, Terraform need to create the resource. We also need to have some credentials that make Terraform eligible to connect with our uh, AWS account. So here we are going to use the access uh, underscore uh, key, uh, which is a string and the secret underscore key. So these are the two uh, credentials that you need to specify which makes Terraform eligible to connect with your AWS account. So you can find that pretty easy uh, in your AWS console. You can go to the security credentials right over here. So if you scroll down here, you can see the access key right over here. So make sure that you never share your access key with anyone. So um, it is always suggested to keep it uh, safe. Uh, I will be, I'll be deleting this access key before this video is, being, video is going to be published. So that's fine. So if you don't have an access key, you can click on create access key and generate one. I already have an access key. So I'm going to paste it right over here. All right. So I have got my access key right over here. Now the next thing is the most important part. That is the step in which we are going to configure or uh, specify what type of instance that we want to create. So let's search for uh, AWS instance Terraform. So we want to create an instance. So I'm going to search for AWS instance Terraform. And that is going to take us to this particular link right here. That is AWS underscore instance. And in this particular page, if you scroll down a bit, 
here you can see the code which actually creates an AWS instance. So if you take a look at here, you can see the resource tag, which means that we are kind of creating an AWS resource. What kind of instance? It is an AWS instance that we are going to create. And this specifies the name of the instance. And here we have got the details of the instance that we are going to create. So I'm going to copy this particular code from here. And let us paste it right over here. So here I won't be uh, uh, making use of the host uh, resource group ARN and the, uh, and the tenancy. So let's remove that. So we'll focus on the AMI ID and the instance type right over here. So let's go to our AWS console for a moment. And let's go to the EC2 tag right over here. So one really important thing that you guys need to take care is the uh, region that you are right now in. So as you can see right now, I am in the Northern uh, Northern Virginia region. So the AMI ID for instances change based on the region. So make sure that first of all, you are in the required region. Uh, so for example, if you want to create an instance in the US dash East dash one region, make sure that you are in that respective region before uh, taking a look at the AMI ID. So I'm right now in the US dash East dash one region. So as you can see that there is no instance running uh, as of now. So here I'll click on launch instance. So the reason uh, why I'm here is to get the AMI ID. So here you can see that I'm going to create an Amazon Linux instance. So I want the AMI ID of this particular instance. So here you can see the AMI ID right over here. So this is the AMI ID that I want. So for example, if you want to create a Microsoft instance, you can click on um, browse more AMI. And here I'm going to search for uh, Microsoft. And uh, here you can see the corresponding AMI ID for each of the instance. So this is how we can get the AMI ID. So I have already got my AMI ID for my uh, Amazon Linux instance. And I'm going to paste that AMI ID right over here. So the instance type that I want is T2 micro. So I'm going to type in T2 dot micro. So that is it. Now we have successfully specified the type of instance that we want to create. So summarizing what we did till now. So we have specified the provider that is AWS. And then we have provided the credentials like the region where we want to create our instance and uh, the access and the secret key which uh, Terraform will, will use in order to uh, connect with uh, our AWS account. And then we have specified the AWS instance that we want to create, which is the resource. Uh, the type type of resource that we want to create is an instance. And the name of the instance I'm going to create name it as Linux um, underscore Terraform. Terraform. And we have specified the AMI ID as well as the instance type that we want to create. So that is it. Now let's open up a terminal. So the first thing that we're going to do is to initialize Terraform to this particular repository. So let's type in Terraform in it. And what this is going to do is that it's going to initialize this particular directory with Terraform. And, and it is going to take a couple of seconds. So as you can see that here we have got a Terraform uh, file, which means that Terraform has been successfully initialized. And also here you can see the message which states that uh, Terraform has been successfully initialized. And the next let us type in Terraform space plan. So this command is going to basically give an overview of all the things that we have created, like uh, what all resources that we are going to create, what all resources that we have specified. So this command is going to give an overview of all the things that we have done via code. So here you can see that all the things that we have specified is being listed right over here, like the AMI ID, uh, the type of instance that we want to create is T2 micro, security source desk check is true so all these things are basically being provided as an overview and uh, here we are planning to add a resource that is an ec2 instance zero to change and zero to destroy so now once that is done now we are going to create an instance so the command to create an instance is terraform apply so let us type in terraform space apply apply so this command is what is going to create the instance and now it is going to ask for a validation that is to type in S to validate or confirm this particular creation. Let's wait for that to happen. So here you can see that Terraform will perform the action described above only S will be accepted to approve. So let us type in S and press enter. And now we can see that AWS underscore instance dot Linux underscore Terraform creating. Now Terraform is actually communicating with AWS, passing all these data, uh, passing all these data to AWS, and it is creating an instance for us. 
So basically Terraform connects with AWS's API. So while connecting with an API, it is going to pass in all these information as a parameter. And then AWS receives this API and creates these, creates these resources for us. So that is how things happen in the backend. And as you can see that apply complete resource one added. So now let's go to a console and see if uh, Terraform has, has or has not created our instance. So if I go to instances right here, here you can see we have got our instance running. And let's verify if it's, a, uh, if it's in the required uh, configuration. So we have got a T2 micro, the instance type is T2 micro. Yeah. And the platform is Amazon Linux. So guys, now that we have created this particular instance, let's also understand how we can uh, kind of terminate or destroy all these resources. So for that, we have got Terraform destroy command. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go back to the terminal and I'm going to search for Terraform destroy. So this is a command that I'm going to run. So if I press enter, sorry, I have made a typo. All right, the spelling is D E S T R O Y and I'm going to press enter and that's going to run this particular command. And again, Terraform is going to ask for confirmation. And once the confirmation has been provided, it is going to destroy all the uh, resources that it has provisioned. In this case, it is going to dis destroy our instance. So again, these things are going to take a couple of seconds. So the communication between Terraform and AWS, it kind of take a couple of seconds here, here and there to uh, perform all these tasks. Again, it's going to ask for confirmation. So I'm going to type in S and let's press enter. And now Terraform is going to start to destroy our resources. So as you can see, AWS underscore instance or Linux underscore Terraform destroying. So our instance is currently being destroyed. All right, guys, destroy completed resource one destroyed. Now Terraform has destroyed our instance. So let's go to the console and refresh and see. Yes, Here you can see I have put, put in a filter. So if I delete the filter here you can see that our instance has been successfully terminated so that's it guys i really hope you guys found out uh how we can kind of create an ec2 instance using terraform and uh, please do comment down below what you guys think about the video i'll be happy to read in your comments thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys in another video